the Karnataka elections, there seems to be no end to the Tipu versus Savarkar debate. But here is the BJP state chief who has ignited the Tipu versus Lord Ram debate, vowing to end the descendants of Tipu Sultan's back. But the BJP state president Nalil Kumar Katil said that those who sing Tipu's bhajans should be chased away from Karnataka. He asserted that those Karnataka belongs to those uh, even when it comes to who are. Uh, Worshipping Lord Ram and Lord Hanuman. Listen into this controversial statement. As far as the controversy is concerned, it has stirred a hornet's nest. The attack that came on the Tipu fan club comes a day after the Union Home Minister Amit Shah said that Tipu supporters are not good for the state. Firstly, comparing Tipu Sultan and uh, Hanuma, Lord Hanuman and uh, Rama is totally uncalled for. Lord Hanuman and Rama are, are, are uh, the avatars, they are the gods, they are respected, they are prayed and Tipu is just a human being. And now drawing a comparison it really shows that uh, this motor mouth Mr. Nalin Kumar Katil has absolutely no sense because he is a lost leader, he is not in a position to bring BJP uh, to any place. So he, the, 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 he is finding out. And second thing, who is Mr. Nalil Kumar Katil to really speak where uh, people of uh, supporter of any person need to really be? Or the, They are the supporter of Godse who killed Gandhi. And do we need to really know where we need to go if we support any particular character? See, this shows that Mr. Katil as the president of the state unit of BJP has nothing to showcase of this double engine sarkar. This, uh, this uh, government is steeped in corruption. It's called the 40% government. This uh, government is steeped in scandalous CDs, is what the BJP MPs and MLAs are themselves are telling. So they have nothing to showcase. So it's quite natural that they have no blueprint for development for uh, Karnataka. And hence they are going to uh, uh, use communal, uh, communalization and polarization as this election issue. They, have, they can't go to people with a development plank. Well, taking a step further, Karnataka Minister Ashwat Narayan has also said that those who glorify Tipu Sultan must be smashed. He asked, uh, does even Karnataka need Tipu or they need Savarkar supporters in the state? Even when it comes to the BJP state in charge of Karnataka saying that it was the BJP government that banned the PFI, while Siddharamaya gave it a long rope to the hate group and it went to multiply even when it comes to multiple uh, cases of hate and crime thereafter have been reported continuously in the state of Karnataka. He has talked, he has spoken about the development also and this issue also. How you can forget about the Siddharamaya government when the PFI, Patsanjalan, was there with the Uri district. 23 Hindus were killed and P PFI were growing. This is our government who has banned the PFI. Cow slaughtering, Pure Karnataka Mahodhota. This is the Yadurapa government who has banned the cow slaughtering in the Karnataka. So we have to talk those things also. And anti conversion that has been brought by the our government. Because we see the equality. We don't appease anyone. But if you talk in the election, we have to talk about the development also. Tipo Sutra Sidramaya or one Pratara. Tipo 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 Veka Savar Karveka. Aga get Tipo Sultan Elikar Veko. Urigoda Nanja got in Madro. Urigoda Nanja got in Madro. Anga, you're not like that. Well, Imran, that.